Hi, it's Linda. Today's flip through from the Thinking Tree is Time Travel American History Past Times Newspaper. You be the reporter. So this one's really um, neat in the fact that they get to be a reporter. And then I'm just going to read over here. It says about the Past Times Newspaper Reporter's Journal. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be in on in on the scene reporter for events throughout history? This is your chance. The pastime paper gives students the chance to get up close with history in a way nothing else does. In this unique journal, students become the reporter. Building cursive writing, research, and journalism skills, students will create their own newspaper. We provide prompts and the newspaper template. Students get to fill in the rest. They will create ads based on the time period comic strips, newspaper games, artwork, and more. And then it says this journal is perfect for budding journalist writers, history buffs, and creative learners. It's a wonderful way to introduce students to history in a way that's fun and engaging. No dry textbooks and boring book reports here. So that gives you a little, an idea. Oh, and then it says use daily for an intensive history and writing lasting, it'll last about a month if you do that, or weekly to last all year. You can even use this over a period of several years as you study different periods in history. So this is great for ages 10 and up. So right here, Columbus discovers the new world. Christopher Columbus discovers the West Indies and it has the um, date up here and where they can write and draw or illustrate or even find things to uh, paste inside or I would use double tape. So it gives plenty of room for them to write their article. Be creative. On the be creative they can draw and they can also use it to write notes that they're finding for their article. So it could be for note taking or you can add pictures here. You can even add pictures of your student uh, being a reporter. So just be, that's why it's called be creative. You can use it for, you can use it different ways. Weekly games, make your own pastime paper word search. So they would put the words here and then you could have someone find the words. So that would be fun. Three day celebration. A successful harvest, the first Thanksgiving. So we're going to write about that. Weekly comic. Make a pastime paper comic strip. Oh, that'll be fun. Just make sure it's all in there so you can read something if you like. And this one says Benjamin Franklin and the Kite Experiment. So I'm not going to read everything. I'll just kind of go through it. Weekly ad, design a pastime paper advertisement based on the types of items sold during the time of your last article. And those are just line papers, be creative. Another word, word search, is that what those are called? So your child could work through this daily a few t or a few times a week or like it mentioned in the beginning um you can also use it throughout several years and when they're working on an article they don't have to sit down and write the whole thing at once they could um, use their creative page to write some notes they could start it off they could even uh, write some of it on a different paper and then you know go through make sure it sounds right and before they put it in their newspaper. This one's on the Louisiana Purchase. They could even do one, um, like let's say they're learning about the Louisiana Purchase, they could study that for a week. So, you know, these pages can last, um, they could be learning about that topic for more than one day throughout the week or weeks even. Weekly ad. Mm -hmm. 
New York's first private orphanage. And then I could write the um, title here. I'm going to skip some of the lined pages. So that is what this one looks like. I'm just going to go and um, see if there's... This is the assassin assassination of Abraham Lincoln. Sorry, it's out of frame. I'm just going to skip to um, the paper template. I think that will give you an idea. The Devastation San Francisco Earthquake, and that one's in 1906. So um, I guess this, this will give you an idea of what this journal is about. If we add, so the format is the same throughout the journal, but they'll just be studying all kinds of, like this one's on the beginning of the Great Depression. So. Actually, this kind of This is the Exxon oil spill, the Columbine tragedy, September 11, 2001, that one's on Hurricane Katrina. And this one says, choose your own event in history to write about. And then there another, choose your own event. So in the back you have one that you can choose yourself. There you go. And then this is how thick it is. It's pretty thick journal. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.